Hi everyone, I am Dr. Shahan and today in this video, I will tell you the nail changes in psoriasis. Basically, nail changes in psoriasis has a mnemonic and the mnemonic is nail polis. So, the mnemonic is polis, P-O-L-I-S-H. So, by this mnemonic, we can remember what is the nail changes that can be found in psoriasis. So, P. What does P means? P means pitting. There are small dots that happens on the nails that is known as pitting. What is O? O means oil drop sign. Oil drop sign. What is oil drop sign? Basically, that is a oil drop like seam that can be seen on the uh, nail. Don't worry about anything. I will show you picture of all these things so that you can remember and you can understand it well. So watch the video continuously. Onychulysis. Onychulysis is basically the nail comes out from its bed. So that is onychulysis. L. L means leukonychia. Leuko means white. What is the meaning of leuko? Leuko means white. Leukonychia means white coloration on the nail. I. I means irregular pitting pattern. Already I discussed pitting will be there. Small, small pits will be there on the nails. S. S means Splinter hemorrhage. S means splinter hemorrhage. What do you mean by hemorrhage? Small blood, blood dots you can find out basically. That is splinter hemorrhage. And H. H means hyperkeratosis. Where is this hyperkeratosis occur? This occur subunguali. What do you mean by subungual? Subungual means below the nail. Below the nail you can get hyperkeratosis. What do you mean by hyperkeratosis? That is excess keratin deposit. Excess keratin deposits you can find below the nail. Below the nail. I will show you picture. Don't worry. So all these you have to remember. The mnemonic is polis. Nail polis. Polis. P means pitting. P means pitting. Small pits are there on the nail. O means oil drop sign. O means oil drop sign. You can get oil drop like sign. Onycholysis. I already told you the nails come out from its bed. That is onycholysis. L means leukonychial. L for leuco. L for leukonychia. White color nails. I for irregular pitting pattern. I told you the pitting will be there and it will be irregular in nature. S means splinter hemorrhage. I told you hemorrhage is there. Hemorrhage. What is known? Uh, what is this hemorrhage known as? Splinter hemorrhage. Splinter hemorrhage. H. H means hyperkeratosis. I told you keratosis will be there and that is excess keratosis. That is why it is known as hyperkeratosis. That is why it is known as hyperkeratosis. Where does this hyperkeratosis occur? Subunguali. Below the nail. Now look at this picture. The first picture is the pitting. The above picture is the pitting. You can see the pitting of the nail. Small dots like pits that is there on the nail surface. You can watch. Second is the oil drop sign. Oil drop sign is basically you can see just like a oil drop. If someone pours some oil on the nail it looks like that. And you can see that is known as the oil drop sign. Oil drop sign. Another sign is leukonychia. What is leukonychia? The name itself says leuco means what? Leuco means white. So white coloration you can see white stripe like that is there on the nail. So white stripe on the nail that is leukonychia. So all these are very very important. Pitting that is pitting on the nails. Oil drop sign and also leukonychia that actually means uh, that it is uh, the patient is having yes. so now look at this picture this picture is showing what pitting yes this picture is showing pitting and also you can say you can see some yellow coloration that is actually the oil drop side that is also seen in this picture so both pitting on the nails small pits on the nails and these pits are also arranged in irregular pattern i already told you the pits will be arranged in irregular pattern it is not regular irregular pattern of the pits and also oil drop sign remember oil drop sign looks like some oil drops has been poured on the nails basically uh, you can see on the distal part you can find out i told you i will show you another picture other pictures also you can see this is subungual hyperkeratosis what do you mean by subungual i told you sub means below ungual means nail so below the nail below the nail look at this picture the arrow mark that is actually below the nail you can see what hyperkeratosis what do you mean by hyperkeratosis 
a lot of keratin deposition a lot of keratin deposition that is known as hyperkeratosis sub ungual below the nail you can get hyperkeratosis okay now look at this picture this picture is showing what oil drop sign i told you i'll show you oil drop sign look at this picture oil drop sign can you see yellow coloration oil drop like sign you can see on the nail yes that is oil drop sign oil drop sign this is also very very important for now psoriasis. what is this picture showing this picture is showing onycholysis i told you i will uh, i will show you onycholysis onycho what do you mean by onycho onycho is basically it it actually means nail and lysis means breaking down so nail is breakable nail is very easy to be broken so it is onycho lysis lysis of the nail happens basically you can see it has it has another meaning which means nail lifting the nail can be lifted easily from its bed nail can be lifted easily from its bed and that is onycho lysis you can see in the picture how the nails is coming out easily and easily breakable that is onycho lysis many people ask me what is the definition of onycho lysis what is actually this term means so i have put uh, this slide to understand what is onycholysis detachment see the line detachment of the nail plate from nail bed detachment of the nail plate the nail plate will be detached from where from the nail bed from the nail bed detachment of the nail plate from the nail bed when the nail starts to separate from the nail bed when the nail starts to separate from the nail bed what happens the raised part looks white as there is only air between the nail bed and the nail and this is known as onycholysis you can see that is onycholysis so basically it is the detachment of the nail plate from the nail bed now what is this picture actually showing this picture is showing splinter hemorrhage what is splinter hemorrhage you can look at the picture that is the black coloration this is actually the hemorrhage small blood these are blood so splinter hemorrhage this is also this can also be found in psoriasis splinter hemorrhage remember splinter hemorrhage also can be found in psoriasis now what is this picture actually showing this picture is showing nail pitting this picture is showing nail pitting so this picture you can easily understand pits are there and these pits are already i told you it is irregular it is not regular in pattern irregular nail pitting is found irregular nail pitting very very important so many times it has been asked in the neat pg and fmg examination nail pitting nail pitting is a feature of psoriasis nail pitting is a feature of psoriasis along with that you can also find out in this picture you can see basically the oil drop sign also the yellow color so whenever they will show you yellow coloration of the nail that is actually the oil drop sign all these are characteristics feature of psoriasis so this is the end of this video if you like this video make a thumbs up and please subscribe this channel this channel contains so many medical videos free of cost these are all for helping mbbs students so if you are a img or fmg please subscribe this channel if you are in first year second year third year fourth year you will get a lot of knowledge from this channel you will get to know about a lot of diseases from this channel thank you so much have a nice day bye bye